Here we have Storm of the Castle with the artwork of Captain of the Watch on it. You've discovered the location of an ancient map that can direct you to the tomb, but the castle protecting it is under siege. You join the besieging army, hoping to overcome the castle's defense defenses and secure the map. So, what we need, soldiers? Is that what's coming? Oh, I don't hate this hand. Yeah, turn one cracking hatchling can hold off any early pressure. And flyers are always good, as we saw last game. Infantry veteran. Uh, tap target attacking creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. Mm -hmm. Nimbus wings good. Uh, no need to put that on the crack though, but it's nice to have to if we get something like a um, attendant knight or something like that. Or maybe a Stoneforge Mystic, you never know. That is good. Some card draw. Leave this back on defense, of course. And pass the turn. What does he do? Raise the alarm, sure. So, we will take two next turn, which is fine. Or maybe one. No two. Uh, now he will tap and buff this. See? That is fine. I'm not worried about that. And Azorius Guild Gate. Uh -huh. That is nice, but I want to play the Windrake now, so I'm, I'm gonna play a basic. <coughs> Excuse me. And pass the turn. So now we have our first our threat on the board. Next turn I will play the basic plane so I can play Assault Griffin and uh, Inspiration the turn after that. So we don't block here, of course, because it would pump it and it would die. And that's not worth it. Veteran Armorsmith. Other, other soldier creature tokens you control get plus zero, plus one. Okay. So they get a bit beefier, but don't uh, actually do more damage. Oh, a righteous blow. I kind of like that. Deals two damage to targeting, attacking, or blocking creature. Now, the infantry veteran becomes a problem because he can just pump. Um, the one uh, I target, but I don't think he will do that. I'll just wait till it pumps and then I shoot the other one. So, do we go in here? Uh, we can block this with the cracking hatchling. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's get in for two and leave uh, Righteous Blow up. Uh, I was kind of on autopilot there. Uh, if I wanted to leave Righteous Blow up, I could have played the Azorius Guildgate anyway. But that doesn't matter um, uh, for the for our next turns. And if he doesn't attack for some reason, we can always draw cards at the end of his um, at the end of his turn. Other soldier creature tokens you control get plus one plus zero in the shot. Okay, he pumps there without any hesitation. Let's get rid of that. Take six. No, we block here, of course. Take four. Another Nimbus Wings. Mm -hmm, I kind of like that. Because we can put that onto the Cracking Hatchling and he becomes a bit tougher. I think that's the uh, right way to do it. So swing here with that, I'm not blocking with it. So I might as well.
and we don't play the second Nimbus Wings uh, in case we draw a creature we would uh, put that on two. Um, okay, that is a lot of damage. We are dead next turn if nothing happens. Glorious Charge. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. That is four, that is three, seven, three, thirteen, and we lose. Okay, so, uh, fast soldier, white weenie, uh, tribal deck, just as I um, anticipated. So we will play a bit differently here. Okay, that's a good hand for that. Uh, we can gain some life up front. We can banish a priest something on turn three. Frost links to tap down his blockers, maybe. Oh, I'll get spirit creatures with this. Yeah. That sounds fine. We also do have a raise the alarm in the deck. Uh, of course, lots of removal and uh, control cards. We just need to draw the uh, right cards here. We'll see how we do. Um, so, Lone Missionary gains some life uh, up front. Next turn we could banish a priest, whatever he plays now. Which is a veteran armor smith. Mm -hmm. Okay, raising the alarm's quite good. Because it gives us uh, chump blockers. So we play that pre-combat to get rid of his blocker, go in for two. There we are. And then see what he does. If you don't drill an island next turn, we will just leave raise the alarm up in case he does something. Palace card can block any number of creatures, okay? One four. Um that means we are not um, going to attack, but we could convoke here to get three spirit creatures. Oh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me about that. Uh, which I think we will do because um, that gets around his, his blockers and uh, we have nothing to do with our creatures anyway and it nets us a chump blocker for whatever. <sighs> uh, excuse me again. Okay, now let's tap that. Confirm. Get three tokens and we're good. Should he attack in with that, we will just take the one damage, that's fine. We're at 24. He does not. Okay. Ah, uh, Veteran Saltsmith is fine. And an Elite Vanguard. Sure. Sure thing. There is our island that we needed, so we can uh, wind drake here and leave up, uh, raise the alarm actually. Uh, he does not have the armor smith, no we banished that, okay. So go in with the flyers, and uh, what we will do is um, leave up, raise the alarm as a combat trick. Should he attack, we can just um, play that and trade for the elite vanguard there, and play our flyer of course. Yeah, sorry for the sneezes, is hay fever season here. What does he do? Veteran Armorsmith. So that's uh, that's kind of bad for us. That way we can't trade with the soldier tokens. Mm, okay. Um, I will not block here. I can take five. I'm at 24. Another palace got short. Um, yeah, we smash for five each turn. That means he's dead in three. If nothing happens. And the tenant knight is a good one. And yeah, now we just go in with all our flyers. Like this. Mm, 
and we leave up a blue uh, just for mind games to represent a counter spell, which we don't have. But uh, I don't know if the the uh, AI can actually be fooled by that. But um, it might. So we have enough to block. We can um, almost uh, sacrifice any of any creature we have, except for the attendant. I don't much rather keep that. Does he go in? He should. Yeah. Um, we will chump the three power guys. Another raise the alarm. That's a good one. Um, that way we can uh, chump again next turn. Go in for five. I think we should have this game. If he has, doesn't have something ridiculous here, I think we're in good shape. So we can play the Frostlings, leave up, raise the alarm. Oh, let's just tap this. Should have actually tapped that because it doesn't untap now. Um, that way you can pump one of his creatures. But that is fine. I think he just alpha strikes here, I guess. Okay. Whoop. He goes in with this. Okay, that way he cannot pump. So I think we will take a risk and block with this here. And... Um, yeah, we trade for that. Hell, I might even trade for this here. Because that limits uh, the stats of all these creatures. Okay. That was not smart of him. But I think he was desperate because he knows he dies now. And that's the end of it. So, yeah, against aggressive uh, strategies like that, chump blockers are always a nice thing to have. So token generators are a good thing in your uh, deck, along with control cards. That's kind of a showcase match for that. So, yeah, so far uh, we're looking good. And uh, see you next battle. My name is Lefaria. Thank you for watching.